Hi, and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today I want to talk to you a bit about how to deal with those situations when things really escalate and the horse is very anxious, afraid, nervous. Um, it came up in a conversation with a student that someone had said, well, yes, it's all very well this, you be the calm place, but what if that's not enough? So the first point I'd like to make about that is <laughs> that being the calm place is always a good thing. And that is the foundation. So that if the horse does calm down, we've got the calm place there ready. And that's very much for ourselves. You know, when you have... Um, half a ton of muscle, jumping around, getting nervous, afraid, you know, and all that ooh, uh, anxious energy. <laughs> of course, we go up with it, it's only natural. So to keep ourselves calm and down and grounded and, um, you know, to be that safe, secure place, and the key to that really is in practice. It's in breathing and grounding. And you know, some people like Buck Branham and you see him with the horses, I mean, he just has that naturally. Um, I mean, he's learned that because of what's happened to him in his life. And it's definitely something that everybody can learn. And we have um, an online course and some workshops or one-to-one -one sessions that can um, help you with that if, um, if you would like to. But the important thing to remember is, yes, to be the calm place and start with that. And the second point I want to make is while we are doing that, to keep always an awareness of the horse. You know, I had a student and she said, oh, I was practicing that and I was standing doing my breathing. And as soon as she went to show me, she closed her eyes. And I said, but if you can't see what your horse is doing, you know, so you want to respond when the horse responds and keep yourself safe. because if the horse is really freaked out, you know, they might just not even see you're there. So that's the, the second thing, you know, as you're keeping calm to keep your eyes soft, but to keep observing the horse and be very aware of every um, uh, change in the horse. And then it's just a case of the same as everything to start with as little as possible and go um, upping, upping the level, upping the level to as much as you need to get the horse to take his attention off the thing that's terrifying him and bring it back onto you. You know, so whether that's a physical touch or it's with the rope or if you're riding, it's with the rein until you get an ear flick back to you that the horse changes his attention. Then you keep asking, you know, and as you build up trust and relationship, that should get um, easier all the time. And of course, on each moment, it's different. You know, it's um, each horse on each day can be different. It's about the weather, about how they're feeling, about how we're feeling. You know, there's so many factors influence that. But the basis is definitely having that calm place. <laughs> I'm getting hassled here. What is it with you two? And they don't get fed treats, eh? You'd think they were looking for treats. Um, so, <laughs> yes, Umo. So, always being that calm place is the foundation. And then it's just keeping an eye on what's going on obsessively, you know, with every grain of your attention. How am I feeling? Can I keep myself calm? And as the horse is escalating, to bring his attention back to you, bring his attention back to you. You know, the key is always in what, what, what was going to happen next. So if he's just staring at something over there looking very afraid, if he's just going to look and then calm down, that's good. We want our horse to be curious and look. The problem is if that's going to turn into a big spook or a spin round or a shoot off, you know, and that we have to, to, to judge, to guess, to do our best to get it right. And then just be honest with ourselves, kind with ourselves when we get it wrong. And it's a learning opportunity, you know, and that's the only way that we'll get it is to keep practicing. So I'd love to hear how you get on with that today. I'll put some links in the description below for the um, workshops and um, course in case you're interested in that, doing that online. Um, also live now, we're in a better situation. Um, it's possible to go out teaching live more. So if you're interested in having me over, I would love to come and meet you and your horses. So <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Now they've quietened down. <laughs> 
and um, keep breathing, be the calm place, start with that. That's always the, the place to start. Even if that on its own is not enough, it's still the place to start. Thank you. Um, keep tuning into the light and I'll see you next time.